The fat engines love friends. Gordon likes friends. Thomas likes friends. And Percy likes Family Guy. Top 10 Funniest Family Guy Moments. Number 10. Shut up and get to the point! But none of them likes the middle. Percy didn't want to fall for their tricks again. Oh, shit. Little green piggy. Harry teased. James was in the yard when Percy steamed slowly by. <laughs> Come. I suffered. Henry arrived to pick up no coal. One he bumped into the trucks and the trucks bumped into Percy. Help! cried Percy. But no one heard him. Help! Mavis is a diesel engine. This made Toby. Toby's an old fucker, she complained. How absurd. Depend upon it, Mavis. Anything diesels can do, we steam engines can do better. Diesel knew nothing about trucks, but Mavis didn't realize this. Once, an engine attached to a train was afraid of a brake van. What the fuck? Cheer up, Henry. It wasn't your fault. I'm sending you to the tunnel. Oh, well, I and leave you here for always and 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 always. Thomas the tank engine was grumbling to the other engines. I spent my time pulling hunters about ready for you to take out on the journey. The other engines were wanking to Paris. Why can't I fuck Max and Chipman? You're too fat, you need exercise. R rub him, rub it him, said Thomas. Ah, One night, he and Henry had a lovely picnic supper of fish and chips. Henry was sugar. What the fuck is that? said Thomas. Move aside, Thomas, chuff Percy. Percy works in the yard at the big station. Peep, 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 peep. Hurry up, Gordon. The train's ready. Gordon thought he was fat. Cood. <laughs> oh. Laughed Percy and showed him a train of dirty coal trucks. Then he looked along the main line. Peep, peep. He whistled in horror for rushing straight towards him was James with the express. <laughs> oh, groaned James. Get out of my way. <laughs>
There were lots of freight cars, and they looked very heavy. I'll never be able to all those, Toby puffed. Do it! Just do it! A few moments later... Maybe I can do it, Toby chuffed. But then, Gordon oh, puffed fast. He was almost there when... And there was Gordon going slower and slower. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Mind my eyes. Oh. Oh, oh. No! This is the yard manager. When Gordon heard that Toby was coming, he was very cross. Toby's only a steam tram, Gordon huffed. He will never be able to fuck me from behind. Toby buffered up behind Gordon. At this time of year, Percy stops where they have been cutting. Totally then takes them to the hills and the farmers to feed Percy. Percy gave a shit whistle. Your ugly gay dick is enough to fuck anyone, said Thomas. Fuck you, Percy, said Thomas. Then came trouble. <laughs> A crate of slime was upset all over Percy. Time after time after time after time after time after time. Six and a half hours later. Time after time after time. Get over there! When Percy got home, his driver showed him what he looked like in a mirror. Bust my nut. I'm fat. He Happy Christmas. Henry, James, and Gordon were alone. We did that joke in the last poop, said Gordon. And it's not funny. Who cares? At last, the fat controller arrived. I hope you are sorry, he said, and understand that you are not so important after all. We have a new tank engine called Dirty Percy. Don't call me Dirty Percy. Shut up, said the fat controller. He then told Percy, Edward, and Thomas that they could go and play on the Nintendo Switch for a few days. Next, Edward took some empty trucks to the quarry. Percy was left alone. We've done all this before. He liked watching trains and being cheeky to the other engines. F***ing move it, you bitch. He would call and they got very cross, which made Thomas very cross. After a great deal of shunting, Percy was waiting for the signalman to set the point so that he could get back to the Krusty Cooch. He was eager to work, but was being rather stupid for not paying attention. Then he looked along the main line. Peep, peep! He whistled in horror. Oh, shit! Straight towards him was Gordon with the express. <laughs> Definitely a coloratura, said Percy. I hate to say I told you so. Percy opened his eyes. Gordon had stopped with Percy's buffers a few inches from his own. But Percy had begun to move. I won't stay here. I'll run away. Presently, Gordon arrived. You're a very naughty engine. I'm sorry I was cheeky, said Percy. You were a very naughty engine. Thomas the tank engine was grumbling to the other engines. I'm not spending another second in this station with you utter twats! The other engines laughed. Where are you going? Paris or Milan? Fuck off! said Thomas. 
One night, he and Henry were watching home alone. Henry was ill. Whoa. Fucking meow! Fucking meow! Fucking meow! Then he came. <laughs> the signalman ran up. Hello, Thomas, he said. What are you doing here? I'm pulling my sausage. Can't you see? You can't go away. All right. <laughs> Thomas, you idiot! You reversed into the coaches. I'm really, I didn't know genuinely that was an accident. The station master was swiped. Didn't take the news well. So what you've done? What? Bloody breakfast, man! Good morning. You know the trouble with you being a cop is you get to see too much shite. What?